Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the fun channel, right? This is where we have fun. This is where it's entertaining to watch. This is not just my boring head talking to a screen. I give you eight, 10, I don't know, sometimes 12 minutes of rock solid magic review entertainment. Sure. That's right. I go out of my way to give you production value. <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, today, I got a fun one. Uh, excited to do this. This is live in London from Jason Ladani. Uh, done some reviews for Jason now uh, here on the Mothership and a couple over in the membership section. That's right. If you guys are not members yet, you know you're missing out because there's over 200 videos over there. Over 200 videos over there, and it's only two bucks a month. That's so cheap, so affordable. I'd highly recommend you go check it out. I'll have some details at the end of this video. What is Live in London? Live in London is a paid lecture that Jason was invited to perform uh, over in London, obviously, for the Magic Circle. He did like a, like a 30 minute set, right? 30 minute set, six tricks, and you get that file, all right? You get that entire file uncut. So you will get two files, right? The performance and the explanation. This is a download. This is a download available at Jason's website. You can run down there and uh, purchase that after this video. I purchased it with my own money. Uh, going back. So yeah, one whole file of performance. And like I said, uncut. You will see everything. Him walking out and going into every single trick. No stops, no cuts, no editing. You will see an entire performance. 30 minutes close-up magic with uh, close-up card magic with uh, two, two spectators, one on his left and one on his right. That alone, that alone is worth the $40. I mean, you'd pay 40 bucks to go see Jason perform live, right? I would. So, I mean, already you get your money's worth just in that one file. The second file is an hour and he's gonna go back through with the same audience in the same setting and explain every single trick and break it all down for you. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, like I said, it's a live show. And even though it's not the Magic Castle, it kind of looks like that Magic Castle parlor with a red curtain behind him and you know a performance table. He has two spectators come up, one on his left, one on his right. The camera stays pretty tight right there. Jason does stand a little bit, but he doesn't actually, the camera doesn't ever spin and go to the crowd. It's, it's focused on him and the spectators the whole time. So I always hated that when sometimes, you know, they try to cut away and get the reaction of the people in the audience. But I was like, I wanna see the performer. <laughs> I wanna see them. I wanna see what they're doing. And that's the great thing, like I said, it's, it's never chopped, okay? You see everything. So whereas I think sometimes we watch these and they, they cut it right at the dirty move or uh, the cameraman zooms in in a place where you're like, oh, I don't, I wish he was focused somewhere else. The camera stays in that great shot and you see the whole thing. You get to hear all the patter. And as a performer, you really appreciate the in-between moments. You know, sometimes we always ask like, how do you get from one trick to the next, right? How do you, how do you weave things together? Or what does a full set look like? I mean, I know what one trick looks like, but what does several tricks look like? when they're all filmed together. Like, how do you do that audience management where you have people stand places or sit places or where you tell them to hold out their hand? You get to see all of that. So even if Jason doesn't necessarily teach you something specifically directly and say, hey, look at this moment, I think all the moments are teaching moments because like I said, you're watching a guy who was hired to go to London to perform for the Magic Circle and you're getting to watch that lecture. So even in the things he doesn't, teach you, he, he is teaching you. I mean, in truth, you will get more from this than the people who actually went, right? Because that moment now only lives in their memory. Whereas now you have a video recording of the entire thing. They were, you know, scrambling to take notes. You don't have to scramble to take notes. You've got it on your computer. You can go back to it again and again. I've gone to lectures and just, you know, I'll go back and look at my notes and I'm like, what? 
was I, what was I, what was I even talking about? Like, what was I trying to remember here? Like, I don't even know what that point was, right? Great thing is now you've got the lecture on video and it only costs you 40 bucks. It's an hour and a half and come on, it's Jason Ladani. What are the tricks he's gonna teach you in the video? Uh, the first one is Nick of Time. This is a uh, race against the clock. So you have a stopwatch right on the table and you actually say, you know, like I'll put money in the line. I'll, I'll, I'll bet you money. But the, the great thing of course is you're gonna win every time. Uh, he does it with four spectators, four selections. First he says he's gonna find the four aces, but then he changes to say, oh, well, we'll find four selections and I'll throw the four aces in for free. Uh, in the allotted time, you find all four of their cards, but then magician gets it wrong. Somehow you can't find the four aces. And then when you turn the four cards over that were on the table originally, they've now become the four aces. The second trick is Jason's version of the any card at any number. And he does this more in his style, less as a magician. So in, in his style, he's making this a trick about card tracking. Like I can shuffle the cards and look how well I know where every card is. And in a normal ACAN, it kind of looks like a coincidence, like name a card, name a number. Look, it appears at that name a number, like that's coincidence. So. He, he does this more as skill and I, you know, it's, it's going to come across like you're a master at uh, card manipulation and card counting. The third trick is called the big stack and it's a poker demonstration. He's going to deal out hands of cards. Uh, he'll deal himself four Queens in a standard poker, uh, deal, but he'll deal the spectator four Kings. So that appears to be, uh, that, that you've lost, right? But then you shock them with a the kicker ending and your four queens become the four aces. And you can do this whole routine in just two shuffles. The fourth trick is called catch me if you can. It's uh, some bar bets that are really fun, very easy to do. Uh, the audience can't win and the trick ends with a super easy sign card to wallet. The fifth trick is Jason's version of the triumph. And when he does this, he really does mix faces into backs, okay? And you really do shuffle cards. So it looks very authentic and you don't have to hide the fact that perhaps you're not doing what you say you are because you really are. And by the end of this trick, you will find four freely selected cards. The last trick is called Liar Liar. You're gonna have two cards selected. This is his closer and this is the one that's gonna make everybody just stand up and applause because not only will you find the two selections, but you will end with your deck in perfect new deck order. And like I said, this first file is 30 minutes. The second file is an hour and he's going to just continue on the way he started. He's going to continue to lecture and, and give you all the skinny. Uh, let's talk about pocket space. The, his whole act is two decks. Okay. It's a red deck and a blue deck and he goes back and forth between the two. Um, yeah, it, you can entertain. I mean, think about that. You can entertain a parlor sized group of people magicians who know how tricks are done and still blow them away with only two regular decks of cards. There's nothing else in this whole, you, you, there's no toppets, there's no lapping, there's no invisible thread, there's no mirrors, okay? None of that. No magnets, no gaffed cards, nothing. Two normal decks of cards. Now, of course, slice and difficulty level then will be at least an intermediate. You need to be an intermediate level card magician because uh, for a few reasons. One, there are some slights. Now they're not complicated slights. I would say they're the slights that you should know if you're a magician, right? Um, I, would, I think there's a, there's a side jog in there. Uh, of course, there's some doubles. Uh, you're gonna have to know how to pinky count, do the jog control. One trick is a memorized deck. So it might help if you already have a memorized deck in your head. Uh, he does the tilt. There is some head math for one trick. He does some addition, you know, in his head. Uh, the Brawi reversals in there, the culls in there, uh, the underspread forest. He does an in pharaoh and an out pharaoh. But I would say that's it. That's, that's everything. So if you think you got all of that down, um, definitely this is, this is going to be in your wheelhouse, okay? How much setup and reset is there? Uh, I think he starts the tricks, obviously, with his two decks in a in a little bit of a get ready for himself, but that's it. I mean, after the first and second trick, I mean, your, your decks are getting shuffled. So he's going to teach you how these tricks blend together seamlessly. Positives. I've really given you all the positives, right? There's full uncut routines, solid routines with all the additional notes about working a room, 
creating moments, creating magic. He'll even talk to you about tips that you can use uh, to get repeat bookings with your favorite clients. All right, so the negatives. What are the negatives? I've, I've seen this before with Jason. He's, he is very efficient in his teaching and he doesn't really do a lot of handholding, okay? He expects you to come to the table with a certain level of card mastery. So he's not gonna have a little side section where he teaches you how to do an in jog or he teaches you how to do a double. He is more like somebody who's very familiar with where he lives and he's giving you directions. So he's gonna say, oh, you wanna get from here to here? You're gonna go down to the street, you see that stop sign, you're gonna turn left, you're gonna drive two blocks until you see the mini mart and you're gonna, you know, hang a right at the gas station. Like he gives you all the points. He tells you exactly this is how you thread it all together. Because think about this, he's gotta do six tricks, right? Six full tricks in an hour. So because he has that time allotment, he's really trying to give you as much as he can. Remember this is lecture style, not, this is not filmed like slow magic tutorial style. He doesn't have hours and hours and hours. So. Again, I'm gonna say you need to be at least an intermediate level magician. Go back and watch uh, the part where I talk about slights. Those are the ones you would need to focus on for this video. Is it worth your money? I haven't even told you another great part. And that is, there's actually two more videos. There's actually two more videos included. Jason is also gonna throw in his Magic Castle performance. Now you've probably seen the Magic Castle performance on YouTube, probably, and that's fine, but now you'll actually own it. So you'll have a copy of the Magic Castle performance to have on your computer. But he's gonna give you a second file that includes all the director's commentary. So he's not necessarily gonna walk through trick by trick and explain exactly what's going on, but he is gonna talk about uh, performance, again, audience management. He's gonna talk about how the set goes together. He's gonna talk about things that maybe you might have missed or he's gonna include you in some backstory on certain things. And again, it's a wonderful teaching on performing card magic in the parlor. So is it worth your money? Four files, right? Two performances, one live in London and second, the Magic Castle for $40, you can't beat it. And that's everything I wanted to say. That's live in London. I hope I've answered some of your questions about that or at least introduced you to something maybe you didn't even know was out there. If that's the case, if I did you a favor, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, mash all the buttons. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers this year. That's my goal, right? That's my goal. Nine years, nine years I've been on YouTube, uh, giving out the YouTube videos, giving out the reviews for you. And I do it all because I care. You get hit every week, right? You get hit every week uh, in your face and in your mailbox with uh, the latest trick, the latest gadget, the latest gizmo. I wanna help you sort through all of that by going through the latest and the greatest. So hit me up with a subscribe and keep coming back. I will try my best to help you save your money. Hey, do me a favor also, go visit Jason's channel. Uh, like I said, you can purchase this or anything else. Uh, he's got a nice web store. Also look at some of his social media links. Uh, you can follow him on TikTok and uh, the Instagram. He's got some fantastic little short vignettes that are just amazing to watch. The guy has unparalleled skill. He should quote me, he should quote me, right? That should be on the back of his next book, right? Magic Orthodoxy says, he has unparalleled skill. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, how would you like access to even more magic reviews? You can, you can get access to two extra bonus videos every single week. Did you know that? Hey, I make videos Monday through Friday for free and I do that for you guys. I never ask for a dime. You guys don't need to pay me any money. Magic and YouTube is not how I make a living, but if you would like access to two extra videos, you can join this channel for the low, low price of $1.99 a month. That's right, you'll get eight, eight extra videos every single month. Now, what are these videos? Well, these videos are tricks that I purchase with my own money because I'm interested in them. These are the tricks that I see, that I want, that I think are gonna be cool, and so I take time out and review those for you in the membership section. Eight videos, two a week for only a buck 99. All right, so how do you join? Well, down below, right next to where it says Magic Orthodoxy, there should be a button that says 
join. If you don't see that button, there's also a hyperlink in the description of this video. Once you click that, it'll take you to another YouTube page where you'll be able to put in all your information and join with your dollar and 99 cents. Of course, you can join for uh, month to month or you can join for the entire year. It's up to you. And of course, you're free to cancel at any time. And again, you don't have to do this. This is not me asking for money. This is just another thing that I make available to you should you wish. Of course, you just coming here and supporting me on social media, uh, any one of my other social media channels by subscribing, by following, that is support enough. That is all the support I need from you guys. And believe me, when I see you guys reach out, when I see you guys comment, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you for believing in me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.